Hey guys! It's Spacey Sims, and we are back with more Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc, and we're in the middle of our case. But I had to end the last part because otherwise I have a feeling this is gonna go on for a while, and I don't wanna be like, I don't <laughs> I just don't wanna like push like, we're at an hour long for a part, it's like it's crazy. But anyway, so, jump back in. Uh, but, but why? Why would she write that? The note was likely her way of getting in touch with a certain someone. The murderer. She must have slid it under their door to let them know she wanted to meet with them in secret. Hmm. If you got an invitation like that from the ultimate pop sensation, what young man could resist? Man, right. Of course, I'm only into 2D, so it wouldn't have any effect on me. But can we be sure anyone even got this note? And honestly, even if they did, I do not think they are at all involved in what happened. Lies. Huh? What makes you say that? Mm. <laughs> Would you like to hear what I have to say? No. Very well then. Pay attention. Make your argument. Dorm nameplates. Okay. Sayaka and Makoto switched rooms, correct? Yes. In the note. The place they were asked to come to, it specifically says, my room. Yep. I see. So if someone read that note, then they would have gone to Sayaka's room. Exactly. The room that Makoto was staying in. No, that's wrong. Yeah. The nameplates on Mai and Sayaka's rooms got switched. Yep. They got... switched? That's right. The nameplates got switched, just like the rooms themselves. As a result, the nameplate mm -hmm. on Sayaka's room actually had Makoto's name. Yep. And the nameplate on Makoto's room had Sayaka's. So what you're saying is, the room Sayaka was staying in was actually marked as her room. Yep. Then, if someone did do what the note said, they would end mm -hmm. up at Makoto's room where Sayaka was. But, did she, well, the weird thing is, is obviously, sh did she switch the nameplates? Because if she said, come to my room, and she knew her and Makoto had switched rooms, then she would have been sending that person to Makoto's room, and that would have been freaking weird, like, to Makoto. You know what I mean? Like, if the nameplates hadn't been switched. So then Leon, as I'm assuming, and then sent to Leon, because he's the murderer, anyway would have gone to where Makoto was, why the hell would she do that? Plus, their rooms are right next to each other. So switching the nameplates would be no problem. Seems weird. And the one who switched the names was... Well, of course it wasn't you, right, Makoto? Right? Okay, then who did it? It had to have been Sayaka. There's only one person who could have switched the nameplates. The only other person who knew we had switched rooms. I got yep. it! Me and Sayaka were the only ones who ever knew about us switching rooms. So the only other person besides me who would even know mm -hmm. to switch the nameplates was Sayaka. Maybe she switched rooms because the sword was in there. And she thought you she could use that. Infer as much from her note. There's something I want to talk to you about just in us two in five minutes. Come see me in my room. Check the nameplates to make sure you don't get the wrong room, okay? If she specifically tells the reader to check the nameplate, yep. she would only have written that if she knew the nameplates had been switched. But why would she switch them in the first place? She wanted someone to come to the room she was in, and also hide the fact that it was Makoto's room. What? The knife, Inviting the sword, I mean. To your room, but not telling them you'd switched rooms. Why would anyone do that? Mm. To understand that, we first need to understand what happened after she invited the person into the room. I hope the sound's good, like the voices. I thought they always seemed good before, but That's I just realized it's a lot of talking. Lies. What happened then was probably whoever she invited over came in and attacked her. We figured it out. We know who did it. Whoever she invited over is the culprit. Duh. But we still don't know who it is, you goddamn idiot. Sayaka fought with her killer there in the room, yes? Perhaps the answer to our previous question lies in that initial struggle. Yes, I think you're right. Then... We just have to figure out what happened during the fight, right? That reminds me. There was a replica sword at the murder scene. 
Was that perhaps used during the fight? Yep. Oh, yeah. What's the deal with that sword? Cornhead. Sayaka suggested I should hold on to it. I thought it might come in handy if I had to defend myself. It seems pretty likely that the killer used it to break Sayaka's right wrist. How the hell could you possibly know that's what broke her wrist? The reason I know Sayaka's wrist was broken with the fake sword is because when you look at her wrist, there's no doubt... Um... Sayaka's wrist. I got it! All you have to do is take a good look at her broken wrist, and it should become pretty clear. Right there where her wrist is all swollen. There's something glittery there. See? Is... Is that gold? Yep. It sure is. Specifically, the gold coating from the replica sword. You barely have to touch that stuff, and it'll stick right to you. And there's some on her wrist because... I got it! Because she got hit with the sword right there on her wrist! Oh. I see, I see. And so the truth draws ever closer. This isn't really... I mean, some things are coming out that you didn't know, like the note and all that stuff. All right, then it's about time to solve this mystery. Yep. What happened in my room? And what led to Sayaka's death? That's what we need to make clear. There's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates. Uh, yeah, let's learn more. Are you getting used to these non-stop debates now? Starting with the next debate, I'll start loading multiple truth bullets into your truth cylinder. Shit. But just like with weak spots, only one of those bullets can actually refute the proper statement. In other words, from here on out... We'll have to combine the right truth bullets with the right weak spots to refute each statement. If you come up with the wrong combination, you'll take damage to your influence gauge. You can press the Q key to rotate the cylinder to choose which bullet to fire. Press and release the Q key to cycle through each bullet. Or you can use the mouse wheel. By the way, if the logic difficulty is set to kind, fewer bullets will be loaded into the cylinder. Which it is, because I'm terrible. For our purpose this time, the logic difficulty will be set to mean. <gasps> what? Well then, good luck and have fun. What? No, I don't... Why, you bastard? You... You cocksucker! Replica sword, kitchen knife set, replica sword sheet. Fuck you! The fighting broke out. The culprit grabbed the sword. And that's when the first blow was dealt. The sword-based sneak attack. I don't know. And that's what broke Miss Mizono's wrist. So she tried to fight back. She grabbed the kitchen knife she had hidden away. I don't. The culprit I don't know. From her too. Yeah, I don't know. And I don't. Killed her with it. And that's exactly what happened. I don't know. If the person with the sword really did attack first, there's no explanation for how a certain part of the sword got damaged. I don't effing the know. Broke out. <laughs> the culprit grabbed the sword. And that's when the first blow was dealt. Mm. Sword-based sneak attack. No. Oh crap! Shit! I missed it. Uh, I don't know. I I don't know. I don't like. I just none of this works. So hold on. Okay. Yeah. I just. It's like I hate the multiple things because none of that makes any goddamn sense. broke out. The culprit grabbed the sword. And that's when the first blow was dealt. A I don't. Sword -based sneak attack. I don't think that's right, though. That's not right. I have absolutely no idea. Shoot. Yeah, I just. I just don't fucking know. Like none of the it makes any goddamn sense. Out. The culprit grabbed the sword, and that's when the first blow was dealt. A sword-based sneak attack. No. Oh, okay. We're supposed to use the thing. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't... <laughs> Actually, no. I don't think the fight started with the sword. Uh, why not? Because the sword's sheath had been scratched. See? There's a gash in it. Like someone cut oh, into it. Oh, because she had the kitchen sharp. knife. Okay, yeah, duh. I'm something dumb. sharp. You mean, like the kitchen knife? That was the only sharp thing found at the scene. Stop jumping ahead. Slow down and explain it so I get what the hell's going on. If the sword was used first, there wouldn't be any explanation for the scratch on the sheath. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, if I'm done. If you were going to attack with the sword, you'd take it out of the sheath first, right? That's true. 
With the sheath on, it'd be heavy and bulky and useless as shit. Okay, so how did the sheath get damaged? She must have come out them with the knife. If they got attacked with the kitchen knife, maybe they grabbed the sword as a defensive impulse. In that situation, there wouldn't be any time to actually unsheath the sword. Maybe she lured someone in to murder them so that she would be able to get out. And she tried to lure someone that she thought she would be easy to kill, and they killed her instead. So you're saying the sword was initially used to defend against an attack from the knife? Which means whoever had the kitchen knife was the one Which was her. who attacked first. I think I get it. So here's how it all played yeah. out. Yeah. The culprit came in, found the kitchen knife hidden there somewhere. Then they took the knife and attacked Sayaka nope. before she knew what was happening. So she grabbed the sword to defend herself. No. But then the culprit took that from her too. No. Nope. Then, after they broke her wrist with the sword, they took the knife and finished it. Sorry, but I don't nope. think Sayaka used the sword to defend herself. She attacked. What? How the hell can you not think that? Because she never held the sword at all. There's a certain part of her body that makes this clear. The part of her body that shows she never used the sword. If you want to use the sword, which part of your body would you have to touch it? Her palms. I got it. You're talking about her palms, right? The palms of her hands were perfectly clean. So I don't think she ever picked up the sword. How can you know that just by looking at her palms? It's like gold. I said before, the gold coating on that sword comes right off. All you have to do is touch it. In fact, yep. if you look, you'll notice that a lot of the gold has already come off the handle. It's safe to assume that's because whoever used the sword got some of it on their hands. There's some really gold no hands. way she could have picked it up and come away completely clean. Maybe she washed her hands after she escaped into the bathroom. How stupid are you? Sorry, but I don't think That's the so. dumbest thing ever. Yeah, someone's trying to murder me. Let me go wash my hands. Why do you say that? Is it because you think I'm ugly? No, it's because you're stupid. No, that's not it at all. It's because you're stupid. There's no way Saika washed the gold coating off her hands because there's a certain regulation that talks about what happens in the bathroom at night. Uh, the water was off. I got it. Well, that and she was being According chased. According to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's time of death was around 1.30 a.m. I would have said it's more like because she was being chased by someone, so why would you stop to wash her hands? Oh, wait, hold on. Stop trying to kill me so I can wash my hands. In other words, at nighttime... And the water in the bathroom shuts off at nighttime, right? Which is gross. What if you need to poop? Oh, I, I didn't know that. Actually, I haven't taken a shower here yet. Ew! Oh, my. You're no different. You smell like a big, fat, ugly donkey. Hmm? I'm not sure whether to take that as an insult or a compliment. <laughs> an insult, obviously. So anyway, if Sayaka never touched the sword, then that means the killer is the only one who used the sword. But hold on. If that's right, then the one who yep. damaged the sheath with the kitchen knife was... I read faster than they talk. The one who damaged the sheath would have had to be the one without the sword, which would have been... I got it! Mm -hmm. Sayaka? She had the kitchen knife? But we already said that the attack started with... The person with the knife attacked first, and the sword was used as an impromptu defense. We already know she went into the room and got the knife. So she lured them there, maybe with the intent purpose of murdering them in Makoto's room. So then she could switch the nameplates back or claim self-defense or something. I don't know why. The one who attacked first was Sayaka. Now do you understand? She wasn't a blameless victim in this. She was, it was murdered no, in self-defense. far from it. It's almost as if... She'd been planning to commit a murder of her own. Yep. What? She took the knife from the kitchen, then invited the culprit to the room she was staying in. And if it's true that she had the kitchen knife and attacked without provocation... Indeed. These are all the actions of an assailant. Yep. Which brings up another point. Nakoto, Sayaka was the one who suggested you two switch rooms, correct? Maybe the reason she wanted to switch rooms was so that she could pin the crime on you. That is a possibility, is it not? Sayaka wanted to... on me? But the thing is, is all he would have to say is we switched rooms. I switched rooms with her, and then it would have put a flaw in the logic, and yeah. 
That would also explain why she would switch the nameplates. Yeah, even if she switched them back, you know? She wanted to get whoever she had targeted to come to Makoto's room where she was staying. And by committing the murder there, instead of her room, that would implicate Makoto. But for that to work, the target had to be lured out while still keeping the room swap a secret. If the target knew she had switched yep. rooms, they would have become suspicious right away. So all that's why she switched the names? But doesn't that plan seem a little risky? For one thing, even if her plan worked, Mr. Naegi would just tell everyone they'd switched rooms. I don't know. I'm not sure our soft-hearted Makoto is capable of that kind of cutthroat behavior. If, if he's on trial for murder and he's risking everyone's gonna die. I'm sure Sayaka realized the same thing, which is why out of all of us, she asked him to switch rooms. She felt his flagpole. <laughs> she was the ultimate pop sensation. A totally forgettable kid. Or a national superstar. Who are you more likely to believe? Not you, jerk. Wait, then you're saying she had this all planned out? I'd murder her if I had to murder someone. Holy shit! But in the end, her plan backfired. She launched her attack with the knife. Then found herself under attack in turn. That must be when her wrist got broken, and she was forced to. It's drop true, because it was her right wrist. The tables were suddenly turned on her, and she died at the hands of the one she'd planned to murder. Just hold on. That can't be true. Because, because. Hey, hey! You guys have totally derailed the argument. <laughs> You're being super boring right now. Come on, hurry up and decide who did it. Wouldn't it be awful if I had to punish you all just because you ran out of time? That and it would make it really boring for Monokuma because only one person would live and he'd, he wouldn't get to murder a bunch oh, of people. Oh yeah, we gotta decide who we think did it. I know who did it. Makoto, right now you just need to concentrate on figuring out the answer to this mystery. I know it. can't uncover who murdered Sayaka, it's over for all of us. I know. Is, is it really all over? Obviously I'm committed to finding out who killed her, but what can I do? I mean, as far as clues goes, there's nothing left. Yes, there is! Come on, I'm not dumb, I got it. Make your argument. Dying message. Yep. It's easy just to say, hey, decide who did it. But there just aren't any more clues, right? Wrong. No, that's wrong. Break. There still might be one clue left. Sayaka's dying message. It's not. Oh my god, is dying. he gonna get it? Wait, wh what did you say? The dying message. See, he was like, wait, what? She wrote something on the wall behind her. Hmm? Remember? He's nervous. One, one, it zero, says Leon! Seven. Written in her own blood. There must be a clue about the killer hidden in there. Yes. Well, before we get too far into that, I need to ask, can we really be sure that Sayaka is the one who wrote it? Yes. There's no question that Sayaka wrote that message and I can prove it. Her index finger. I got it! Her left index finger had blood on it. That could only be because she used that finger to write the message. I see. She broke her right wrist during the fight. So she'd have to use her left hand to write. Which would be upside down. Sure. I think we can all agree Sayaka wrote it. But still, what the heck do those numbers mean? They're not numbers. Hey, Chihiro. You're a computer nerd or whatever, right? You should know all about numbers and shit. N no, that's not... Yes, I'm a programmer, but I don't see any kind of meaning in these numbers. I mean, it's also of a pin course. number. It's because they're not numbers. Oh, yeah, it looks like... What? What? No, it's just... Uh, look at the numbers, assuming they're not numbers. Don't these first two, one, one, look less like two numbers and more like one letter? Yep. Ah, oh, you're right. The connecting line is barely there. I got it. I so got it. As soon as I showed up, I was like, it says Leon. Looking at it now, you could also read it as an N. Whoa. You might have finally just said something worth a shit. Nice. <laughs> Cornhead. Our little gray cells are really getting excited now. Yeah, you're getting a little too but excited there over there. Really Simmer down. An N, N037, doesn't make any more sense than before. No, but if you write upside down. Damn it, it's no use. I just don't know. Yes, I do! 
Rotate the image 180 degrees. I know! God, you're so dumb, kid. I know. Rotate it. I, I think maybe maybe I see oh something. God. Oh my god, now I see it. Now I oh. see. <laughs> she wrote down the still reading. name. Huh? You just shot past the clue part and right onto who did it. So whose name did she write? It's like Sayak Sayaka's dying message reveals the killer's name. If you turn her message 180 degrees, it should become crystal clear. Select someone. Oh. Do 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 do. Leon. The key to solving this mystery was simply to rotate the writing 180 degrees. If you turn the message around, it becomes the letters L E O N. L E O N. Or more accurately, Leon. What? What the hell are you talking about? It, it's just a coincidence. It's just a bunch of random squiggles that happen to look like my name. Random squiggles. No. Perfect. It's not random at all. Mm hmm. Uh huh. She wrote that message on the wall behind her as she was leaning up against it. Told you. In that position, she couldn't move to write normally and had to write upside down, as it were. And as a result, when you look at it standing in front of her, it ends up getting flipped. Try it for yourself if you want. Write something sitting like her, and the letters will be inverted. I totally did when I was explaining it like three episodes ago. That, that sounds like one I was like, stretch to me. <laughs> I'm the killer? You can't just go and say shit like that. If you're not the killer, then why did you try to destroy the evidence? Yep. Huh? You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? The yep. The evidence Leon tried to get rid of? Yep. The evidence that Leon tried to get rid of. It's a thing I found on the ground in front of the incinerator. Uh, burnt shirt piece. I got it. You mean the burnt shirt piece I found laying on the ground by the incinerator, right? As the killer stabbed Sayaka, they must have gotten some of her blood on them. And to dispose of the shirt covered in the victim's blood, they threw it into the incinerator. He's a baseball star. But one piece burned off and got left behind. And the killer didn't notice. If they had, they most certainly would have panicked. Isn't that right, Leon? What? 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 But is one scrap of fabric enough to conclude yes. that Leon is guilty? Yeah, I mean, Leon's not the only one wearing a white button up. That, that's right. There are plenty of other people here with shirts like mine. With just that one little charred piece, there's no way you can say for sure who it belongs to. You're right. That alone isn't enough. Uh-huh. But there are some other points uh -huh. that may reveal the truth. Are you finally starting to understand? The answers to all the riddles are right here. Yeah, I think so. The burn remains of the button-up shirt, which the killer wasn't able to get rid of. There's something about it we need to pay attention to in order to figure out who's responsible. How it was disposed of. I got it! If you look closely at how the shirt was disposed of, we should be able to figure out who the killer is. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good point. I, I think I know what you're going to say. You can't reach the incinerator without opening the gate in front of the trash room, right? And obviously, you wouldn't be able to hit the switch to turn it on either. How would you know you that if you've been in there? Get in. And the one with the key was the person on cleaning duty. So the killer had to be whoever was in charge of taking care of the trash, right? <laughs> Interesting. We're going to worry about him. That's not him. No, that's wrong. There was another way to use the incinerator without being the one cleaning duty, and that's exactly what proves Leon is the real killer. Make your argument. Shattered crystal ball. The key to the trash room. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? Yes. So the only one who could get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash? And you'd have to nope. get close to the incinerator in order to destroy nope, the Nope, that's it. You'd have to get close. No, you wouldn't. No, that's wrong. I was like, wait, that's true, though. What hers thing was... I was like trying to... And I was like, no, hers is right. Hold on. I think I know how someone could dispose of the evidence without using yep. the trash room key. But if you can't get past the gate, you couldn't possibly turn on the incinerator, could you? Yes, you could. If you used this. What is it, some kind of glass ball? It's busted to hell. Actually, it was supposed to be a crystal ball, but, uh... But 
How would you use it? The killer had to use the glass ball in a certain way, which was... Throw it. I got it! The killer simply took aim at the incinerator switch and threw the ball through a gap in the gate. All they had to do was hit that switch and the incinerator would come to life. I hate the fact that I have to use the arrow keys to screw those because I want to just go click and click on the mouse, but I have to be like, oh, I gotta, and it takes me longer. Someone threw that, threw a gap in the gate? Remember what you said before, Hifumi? Uh, huh? Someone turned the incinerator on. Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Perhaps it was the work of a fairy. Hifumi had the key. So the only way the incinerator could have been turned on without his knowledge was because the killer was able to hit the switch without opening the gate. Ooh. Once they'd gotten the incinerator going, all they had to do was ball up the shirt and toss it in. Hey, come on. What the hell is this? All you have to do is die, look Leon. at the scene to know that the killer never actually went inside the trash room. The shards of broken glass, the incinerator left running, the piece of shirt that escaped the fire. If the killer had been on cleaning duty, the evidence would have been taken care of much more thoroughly. Yep. Wait, wait, no, just hold on. But the distance from the gate to the incinerator has to be at this least the ultimate baseball star. 30 feet, right? The pinpoint accuracy you'd need to throw a glass ball that far and hit something that small. Could someone really do that? that that's right. There's no way. It'd be impossible. Difficult, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Impossible? I don't think so. Because the killer is... It wouldn't have been much of a challenge at all for the killer because ultimate baseball star. Because the killer is the ultimate baseball star. Isn't that right, Leon? Do you, do you have any idea how stupid you sound right now? Now we sound fucking genius. The 30 feet away would surely be little challenge for the ultimate baseball uh -huh. star. You, you, you can't be serious. I... I... I'm not the killer! Yes, you are. These goddamn shipper brains have got it all wrong, I'm telling you! You still won't admit it? Okay, then. Makoto, go ahead and review the incident one more time to make his crime perfectly clear. And with that, we can end this. Listen to me! What the hell do you mean, end this? You're gonna end! Say what you want, Leon. But all the questions have been answered. Yep. And the truth has been revealed. Yep. Now here's what happened. The closing argument is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Yes. Okay. Every case has one last element to bring the class trial to an end. This is the closing argument. In this phase, you'll give a complete summary of the case. You'll have to reproduce the flow of events for the case in the form of a comic book. However, you'll notice that in this comic, there are a number of pieces missing. It's up to you to complete the comic using the provided truth panels. Also, if you take aim at a missing section and press the left but mouse button, holy cow, you'll get a hint that might lead to a breakthrough. Well, then good luck and have fun. Okay. Interesting. Begin. Finish this thought. Okay, wait. So she invited him uh, into the room. Wait. Is it that one? He broke into the bathroom? No. Well, wait. Because that's after she... Wait, what? Oh. Oh, okay. Hold on. She stabbed him. No. Wait, what? What the hell? I this is really confusing as fuck. This is confusing as shit. Yeah, that goes there. This goes here. But wait, what? What the fuck? There's not enough things. There's not enough shit in here. I don't understand. This makes no goddamn fucking sense. Yeah, this makes no sense. Okay, that's obviously not... That doesn't go there. So he comes in. She goes to stab him. She runs off. He has to break into the bathroom here or over there. I don't know. And then she, but she writes Leon before Act Three. No, I mean it shows it there, but she would write it here. I don't know, but then, yeah, no, but that looks like 
No. I don't fucking know. This is ridiculous because there's not enough bubbly things. You know what I mean? Unless he... But that doesn't go there and that doesn't go there. Like, I don't understand. I don't fucking understand. Like, this doesn't make any goddamn fucking sense. There's not enough... My room was the scene of the crime. The incident began when the killer entered. Yeah? But I don't... Okay, hold on a second. Influence... If you... No, turn the pa truth panels. You'll find the panels lined up at the bottom of the screen. It's your job to paste these panels in the missing sections. Hold down the left mouse button to pick up a panel while holding on and use the mouse to move to place it. Use the mouse wheel to scroll... Oh! Okay, hold on. Oh, okay. I get it. Okay, so... Yeah, but that's... Oh, so, okay. That was it. He comes in... Or, wait, hold on. Oh, no. This would be here. This one would be here. So, like, she comes in like, Hey, what's up? They fight. He's got the sword now. She runs into the bathroom, but he's got to break into the bathroom. She's got to write the thing on. He goes and cleans up. He has to go in there. Blah, blah, blah. And then this goes like this. How? Yeah, but I don't understand. I'm trying to click the button and it's not working. Like, uh, okay, hold on. I am. The killer is oh. You. I was like, I've... I think I better take one more it looks look like the left mouse button is highlighted, game. but it's the right. Okay. Last night, the killer went to the room Sayaka was in. In other words, my room. Yep. From what we can tell, Sayaka invited that person there intending to kill them. Yep. She attacked them with the knife she'd taken from the kitchen earlier. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. But then something happened that she wasn't prepared for. They grabbed the fake sword I put in my room and fought back. During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. I mean, that doesn't last what it looks. It looks more like... Ah, uh, okay. It looks more like they and took it from her. she lost her grip on the kitchen knife. Finding herself cornered, Sayaka panicked and ran into the bathroom. We're trying to get in. The killer went after her, but couldn't get the bathroom door open. What they didn't know was that my bathroom door got stuck easily, and there was a trick to opening it. Sayaka knew about that because I told her, but of course the killer had no way of knowing. Yep. So instead, the killer forced the door open, took the kitchen knife, and stabbed Sayaka. Yeah. But with what strength she had remaining, Sayaka left a dying message. To keep the killer from noticing, mm -hmm. she wrote it on the wall behind her. And with that, all her strength was gone. With Sayaka dead, the killer quickly began destroying the evidence. At first, they took off their shirt, which was covered in their victim's blood. Yep. Then they took the lint roller in my room mm -hmm. and cleaned up the entire area. They wanted to make sure they got rid of any trace they'd ever been there. They make the, like, reenactment stuff kind of, like, really fun the way they do it. It's kind of weird, but... Afterwards, the killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. They tried to burn the shirt using the incinerator there, but the trash room was blocked off by an especially sturdy gate, preventing access to the incinerator. So they came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball, which he'd left in the laundry room. Yep. The killer managed to throw the ball through the gap in the gate and hit the incinerator switch. For any normal person, that'd be an impossible throw. But the killer mm -hmm. had the confidence to take a shot. Mm -hmm. And that's because the killer 
was the ultimate baseball star. Yep. The crystal ball, thrown with absolute precision, hit the switch on the incinerator, which then quickly roared to life. This <laughs> is really dramatic. Roar to life! Having destroyed the final piece of evidence, they left the area with, I imagine, a sigh of relief. But there was one thing they missed. Part of the shirt they'd thrown into the fire burnt away and fell out of the incinerator. Even without that, we would have been able to prove it was him this, because of his note and, and the crystal so ball. And so left behind a piece of indisputable evidence. Isn't that right, Leon? Complete! Bam! It would appear that Hero simply forgot his crystal ball in the laundry room. You went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt. And that's where you Ooh. saw it, right? Seeing the ball? You thought of a way to take care of everything. So, Leon, do you object to anything that's been said? She tried to kill me do first! Object? Hell yes, I object! Of course I do! I object! I object! I object! I mean, all of this is just a bunch of stupid theories! You need evidence! Where's the evidence? We have the evidence, Without bitch. Evidence, it's all bullshit. It's bullshit, and I refuse to acknowledge it. Well then, I guess this is as good a time as any to present the evidence that proves you did. We already did! Makoto, I believe you're in possession of that evidence. I have the evidence? Your first bullet time battle is a big out to begin. Would you like to more? Yes, because I think I've given every evidence. Holy shit. Sometimes during a class trial, your opponent simply won't want to hear what you have to say. When this happens, you will engage them in a head-to-head -head battle. Fuck. We like to refer to this as a bullet time battle. The BTB, BTW. During the BTB, you, you want to destroy your opponent's statements in time with the rhythm. Oh, fuck. I can't do this. Uh, match your button presses with each tempo marker. As they move across the screen and reach the center. I can't fucking do... I can't do shit like this. That sucks balls. I don't understand how to do this. Press the right mount button to lock on an opponent's statement. Okay. Destroy the statement you've locked down with the left mouse button as the tempo marker reaches the center. Hey, fuck. Can you just... Uh, son of a bitch. Use this method to deal damage to your opponent. If you can pull it off, you'll be the one in... If you can't pull it off, you'll be the one in pain. Tempo up. Does this consecutively and you'll start a combo. Keep that going and you'll initiate a tempo up. On the flip side, if you keep missing, you'll get the tempo down. I can't do shit like this. Fuck. When the tempo changes, so does the timing for hitting each button. So watch out for that. Fuck. Deal enough damage to your opponent and their weak spot statements will appear. I need more time to like actually like read and think things. Not like, fuck, I gotta click buttons. And I'm, this is so, oh. At that point, you can press the left mouse button to shoot. Okay, I don't fucking understand any of what this fucking thing just said. So this sucks balls. Um, this really sucks balls because I, I, I don't mind that I got statements and we got to put the things. But this is kind of bullshit. Just like we've already provided all the fucking evidence. So uh, good. Yeah, fuck that. We're not going to have when fun the with this part. This sucks. The screws from the doorknob. They didn't use anything from your room to do it. Instead, they must have used... Use something of their own to remove the I screws. To acknowledge you. You're Ugh, stupid. Screwdriver. Stupid, 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 stupid. Blah, blah, blah. I have to show you this beautiful Evans and Liam's killing you to figure it out. He's use a fucking screwdriver! Jesus, we're done. Oh, fuck my ass. I hate this shit. Where's your proof? Uh, wait, what? Are you I, kidding me? I, I don't work. What chance? Where's my proof? What? It wasn't me. I, what? What? Stupid. I don't... Uh, you lie! Stop uh, talking! I don't... I don't know if I'm... Shut up! Where's your proof? You kidding me? Uh, shit. Not a I, don't, chance. I don't know how to do this! I don't know what I'm fucking doing! You lie! Shut up! Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't I'm... me. Oh fuck. Stupid. You lie. Stop talking. Final strike. I don't Where's toolkit. Your proof? 
This should prove it. Ugh. I don't know. Did I, I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm like, I'm clicking. What am I doing? Like, seriously, what the hell did I just do? I don't even know. I don't even know. I wonder what kind of tool the killer used to remove them. I mean, it had to be a screwdriver, right? Hey, Cornhead! You're not just full of chowder. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure the tool kits we got each had one inside. And that must be what he used. There aren't any other tools anywhere. I mean, we prove we take a vote. Do we but really have to do all this other stuff? Like, had clearly never been used. That's because the culprit didn't know it was your room. They thought they were in Sayaka's room. Only the boys got tool kits. So the killer naturally assumes there wouldn't be one in there. Okay, then whose toolkit did the killer use? Stupid, stupid, stupid! It had to be their very own toolkit. Stupid, 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 stupid! Leon, blah, blah, blah. would you mind showing us your toolkit? If I'm right about this, then the screwdriver will show some evidence of being used. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Huh? And if you say you used it for something else, you'll have to explain exactly when, where, and why. And let me say this right now. I lost it isn't an excuse at this point. Stupid. Stupid. Bye, Leon. So, you have no rebuttal? Then it would seem we are finished here. That's creepy. That's creepy as fuck. Let's get on with it. Results! Total. A! Woo! Woo! I got lots of coinage! <laughs> Looks like you've reached your verdict. Then are we ready to cast our votes? You all have a lever in front of you. Use it to make your selection. Oh! Just to remind you all, make triple sure you vote for someone. You wouldn't want to be punished for something so minor, right? Okay, then let's get excited! Woo! Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Okay. Monokuma, vote! What do I do? Oh. Okay, I thought we actually had to vote. <laughs> I was like, we already know who did it. I already know who I'm voting for. <laughs> Looks like you got it right on the money! The blackened in this case, the one that killed Sayaka! <laughs> It's none other than Leon Kuwata! Huh? Yep. Hey, hold on. Oh, hold on a second. Leon. Leon, did you really kill Sayaka? I don't believe it! You son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! What the hell's wrong with you? I, I didn't have a choice. It was kill or be killed! So, that's why... I killed her first. None of you are any different! One wrong step and you'd be the one standing here. It was complete chance that I wound up like this. Just <laughs> unlucky. That's, That's all. Yeah. Grr. Hey, come on! You expect me to just accept my death? Everything's become clear. The decision was made right after all. But when I think about that, honestly, I'd be better off if we'd been wrong. Because if we came up with, re uh, but what we came up with really is the truth. And that truth is that Sayaka was trying to frame me. But even if that's true, I can't say she was wrong. After all, the mastermind... It's all because of that video. Even I couldn't handle what I saw there. If I was her and the video actually had something to do with me, I can't even imagine. They were trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. What? I can't afford Why? to be stuck in here. The one thing that was more important to her than anything else, her dreams, her friends. <laughs> to have to see something like that happen to them. And Sayaka... I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it, even some things that weren't so pleasant. And that's why Sayaka, for the friends that mean, meant so much to her, that's why she betrayed me. So when she said... No matter what happens... 
please always be there for me. I need you on my side. She was lying to me from the very beginning. She was using me. Is that why she talked to me in the first place? I guess I'll never know. Because there's nothing I can do to ask her what she was thinking. Once you're dead, that's that. <laughs> Boy, howdy! The entertainment industry must sure be terrifying, huh? I mean, to try and kill someone just because of those relationships. Ba -bum, ba -bum. She seems so nice and lovely on the outside, but inside, she descended into pure madness. What did you say? I understand. Really, I do. Yep, yep. You're in utter despair thanks to Sayaka's betrayal, right? Compassion, intimacy, love. The stronger those feelings, the stronger the despair when they collapse. Stop screwing with us. This is all your fault. Sayaka being forced to do something like that. All of it. Everything. It's all your fault. Suddenly in a frenzy, I lunged at Monokuma. But... That's enough. As angry as I was, Kyoko latched onto my arm without hesitation. Her grip was like iron. Strong enough... I was sure I would it would leave a bruise. I know we're going oh, way yeah. over, but I figured this is the end, so... If you really want to make uh, her enemies pay for what they've done, you need to let it go for now. Damn it! Ba -bum, ba -bum. Ah, that was a close one! I thought for sure you were going to give me a good walloping! <laughs> Just barely avoided punishment, you did! Yes, indeed! Now then, since you're so magnificently revealed in the revealed the identity of the killer during the class trial... The blackened Leon Kuwata will receive his punishment. Punishment? You mean execution? Wait a second. Hi, Leon. I didn't have a choice. I had to kill her. Yeah, that's it. I was just protecting myself in the heat of the moment. It was self-defense. Is that okay? How exactly was that self-defense? Mm. When you forced your way into the bathroom, did you or did you not use your very own toolkit? After she'd shut herself in the bathroom, you went out of your way to head back to your own room. Then you came all the way back, broke into the bathroom, and killed her. Am I Do wrong? Do you understand? You had a number of chances to stop what you were doing, but you chose not to. Is it not because you had an unclouded intent to commit murder? So, that's no, why... No, that's not... Stop it. I've had enough of this. Oh. Are you sure? You were close to her than anyone, were you not? He killed your precious Sayaka. Do you understand? I can't say Leon is solely to blame. Of course I don't plan on blaming Sayaka either. Because... Because the one to blame is him! Huh? So, uh, if it weren't for you, this never would have happened to Sayaka or Leon. We shouldn't be fighting each other. We should be fighting against the one who put us in this situation. The mastermind. Uh-oh! Did you awaken your to your sense of justice? Hey, um... Well, it just so happens that there's nothing more unethical than unwavering sense of justice. After all, it's people with that sort of mentality that perpetuate war all over the world. Hmm. Is that the kind of justice that's awakened within you? Just shut up. Hmm. Okay, well, anyway, more importantly... Kills, chills, kills. Let's hurry up and get to what everyone's been waiting for. The punishment. I'm begging you. Please, don't do this. Hey, come on now. No more begging, no more excuses. You must pay the penalty for breaking the rules. Society demands it. Stop, please. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment. For Leon Kuwata, the ultimate baseball star. Because, you know, it's not going to say his No, name. no, 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 no. I'm pretty sure they use that line every time. Let's give it up. Bye, Leon. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. This is disturbing. I wonder if this is copyrighted. Uh, hopefully not, because otherwise we'll have to cut it out, and that would really suck! Because one of the other scenes in the very beginning, when we first, the, in the intro, was... A copyrighted scene, so hopefully this isn't. If it is, I'll just have to tell you what's going on. <laughs> It'll just have me overdubbing a black screen, like, here's what's happening. Ah, uh, so. 
Oh. Oh. Seriously? That's gonna hurt like a like hell. Holy shit. Wow. Monokuma is a sadistic little bastard. Dude, this game is brutal. It's like disturbing. Like, just the shit that happens. Oh, gross. Yeah, wow. I mean, that that's a fitting punishment for him, I guess. What we saw, that was the true face of despair. I mean, if we can ca can't call it that, what else can we call it? Extreme! <laughs> Man, my adrenaline is pumping right out of control! What's going on? I can't take it. Do we really have to keep doing this? I just can't take it. Well, hey, if you don't like it. <laughs> All you gotta do is swear to cut all ties with the outside world and accept living here forever. But that's only if every single one of you can get on board with that. <laughs> Sadistic laughing. Damn you! Man, fuck you! Why the fuck are you doing all this evil shit to us? I kind of figured that would kind of have just kind of ended it, you know? Because I have a feeling there's gonna be multiple cases. Uh, evil? You make it sound like I'm some dark, awful, secret society type of guy. What? Or in this case, a dark, awful, secret society type of bear. Well. So why are you putting an, up, putting an upstanding young citizen like me through such a grueling ordeal? Oh, um. Seems like you're trying to use common sense to make sense of something that doesn't make sense. That's like trying to put a mile on a scale. I just don't think it's possible. Um. Hey, um, uh, I don't think what you're saying and what I'm saying quite fit together. Shit. Piece of shit. I don't know who you are, but I'm gonna pound your ass into the ground. <laughs> you must really hate me to get so angry, huh? But if you do that, you're breaking way up... Oh, barking way up the wrong tree. <laughs> what happened happened because more than one of you decided you wanted to get out, right? No matter how much time passes, you can't cut free of your regrets from the outside world. You're to blame. Of course we can't f f cut f f free of the outside world. Being trapped in this insane place. Mm -hmm. You're trapped, are you? Well, I'm sure once you learn all the mysteries of the school, your thinking will change for sure. You'll be thinking, boy, isn't it so wonderful how we all get to live here forever. What, this mean? what are you trying to say? I feel like there's some deeper meaning hidden in there. Just like before. Thrills, chills, kill! Anyway, let's get the black to the blackened punishment. That's what everyone is waiting for, after all. Hey. When you say everyone, who exactly are you referring to? <laughs> Sorry, I said everything I've got to say. I need to save some of the fun for later. <laughs> Bye. And just like that, he was gone. He left us there overwhelmed by a nightmare turned reality. The freaking end. Uh, even after he was gone, we stood out there forever, unable to move. I'm sorry this part is, like, super freaking long, but it's kind of like there's no good place to stop. And I'm kind of waiting for it to, like, just end, as opposed to, like, let's stop, and then we're in the middle of something. Actually, no, it wasn't that long, I think. Everyone just lost their sense of time. We were all too scared, scared of being alone. No one even tried to speak. Their faces were stone, their voices dead. But it was in that moment... Just a second. Makoto, can I talk to you for a second? She moved close and whispered in Makoto. my ear. Before we head back, there's something I want to talk to you about. It's about Sayaka, isn't it? I'm surprised you figured it out. Listen. I told you before the class trial started, you had to figure out the mystery of this case yourself. You wanted me to realize how Sayaka betrayed me by myself, didn't you? The thought never even crossed my mind. I feel like such a fool becoming such an easy target like that. It's true. Sayaka meant to double-cross you. That's a fact that you can never change. But even till the very end, she wasn't sure of her decision. That's why, as she lay dying, she was thinking of you. She was thinking of me? You can't just say something like that. I mean, there's no way you can know that. Only Sayaka would know for sure, and we can't ask her now. However. 
Even if you can't ask her, you can infer, don't you think? Her final thought was how she could protect you. What? So... The fact that she used her last ounce of energy to leave her dying message proves it. If she didn't care what happened to you, she never would have left that message. Well, maybe she just wanted to get back at the person who had killed her. Certainly. That's certainly one possibility, but I don't think that's what it was. Anyway... She was uncertain. She wasn't sure she could kill someone or deceive you, which is why her plan failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. Right. It's almost ironic when you think about it. Why are you telling me all this? Because you're the kind of person who can not who can overcome this. Because you can move past the death of your friends, Sayaka and Leon, and keep moving forward. Right. Without someone like that, the others would never be able... What about Junko? Hello, we liked her. The others would never be able to break free of such a desperate situation. I like the three of them. There's a bunch of these other assholes I could care less about. Why aren't they dead? Move past their deaths? That's... I could never do that. No. I'm going to carry them with me for the rest of my life. How could I possibly move past something like that? Leon, Sayaka, I'll carry them with me forever. I'll carry their memories with me wherever I go. And Junko. Whatever. No, nobody mentions her. So instead of forgetting them, you're choosing the hard road. <laughs> Well, I have high expectations for you. As she said that, she revealed the smallest smile. Hey. By the way, I have to admit, I'm curious. How did you know I wanted to talk to you about Sayaka? Well, I'm psychic. What? Huh? Kidding. I just have pretty good intuition. Chapter one, to survive. We are done. Woo! Okay. So, I'm pretty sure... We get to keep going i mean i think there's more cases to be continued of course um you've received the despair bat lovely do you want to save the data yes we do do i want to overwrite yes i do i'll probably start a new one for chapter two. Oh, okay cool uh let's actually let's go into the menu and we'll save this and we are done so i'm so sorry that this one took an hour I want to save in the uh, different um, thing I'm a jigger for chapter two. Uh, not that it matters, I don't think. But anyway, so yeah, I will wrap this up here. Um, I'm assuming that there's going to be other cases and stuff like that. So you guys let me know. I'm gonna, probably going to take a little bit of a break because I just recorded a bunch of these. And I got a couple of weeks to put these out. So I'm probably not going to record. I might not record any more of this for a little bit, but live, give it time for these to go up. So that you guys can see them and let me know. Do you Are you enjoying this? Do you want me to do some of the other cases and everything like that? Because I will totally do it. Because I had a lot of fun with this. Um, even though the weird trial thing is confusing and whatever. But we managed it. <laughs> like, I mean, you know, I think, I think we got it down. I think we can manage it. Uh, but yeah, so let me know if you want me to do some of the other cases and continue with this. Or, you know, what? I'll probably obviously be playing other games and stuff like that too. So, but anyway, yeah. So I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.